Hungry? What's next? Oh. The storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. Yes. Quite sick, Jess. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Don't make me 
we do this? Yeah. Vana, up. I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed your son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimblewinter. Stop snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? It's okay, boy. You're okay. I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. Why? Too big? He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. 
You have to let go. Sofna. Apfra. Desu. Sofna. Hethon. Sofna. 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 the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. Prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. Oh, go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not want Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. moment along with Fenrir before I bury him. Well, I don't recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then.
Kratos? Are you joining me? Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your aunt. I will follow. Very well, Grumbus. Fresh kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt the predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, don't! Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. You suppose he took a shortcut through the realm between realms? No, the stones have not moved. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? He crawled through here. You've seen trouble in your sleep, even for you. 
Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Out, Nerman! And we're not alone. Check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? Well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? A bear. Mauled. By what? A larger bear. Wounded. The fight destroyed the tree. We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. side of that gap, if you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of... Otherwise accurate predictions. I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. I'm skeptical by nature, though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I've no bloody idea.
I know what you're thinking, brother. That Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. <laughs> Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Or you could do that. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. Someone got in the bear's way. Huh. <laughs> 
Are you here? Huh. Well, that's for the best. Let's find a way out. The trail leads back out. We'll need our own way up to find it again. <clears throat> Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. He kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. <laughs> Atreus, where are you? <laughs> Fenrir, 
And then, I'm not sure. I was so sad. And then I was angry. And scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and... I charged back? That had to be a dream. Your emotions... They transformed you. Uh, I, I... I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! Going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share.
Oh, I recognize where we are now. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. I must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. <clears throat> Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Fana, you're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky, you okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. 
Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. In a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Come in. I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. <laughs> you seem like a calm and reasonable person. Say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. Back before winter set in, 
There were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe it without you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. Now 
we got us to fight. Oh! 
why my sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, Allfather, has plans for him. <laughs> Consider your blood debt paid. It's in you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't alone. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. Least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point, after all. Set. This will get you home. Hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stays busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking. I will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's why. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pen. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tia? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me? I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. Zoe. 
Gather your things. Keep the change, you bastard! Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Do didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. 
Are raiders warring with one another now? Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Fresh. Did they all get in while the stave was down? That, or Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. Hey, come burn this bramble off. It'll be quicker. <laughs> Almost to the bridge. <laughs> oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams. Calling me here. Whoa. That one's still alive. No. Look closer. <sighs> Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah. Probably. See something down there? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh, yeah. Being all the way on guard. Whatever it is, it works fast. <laughs> Temple now. Just need to find a way around. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. Right? How Tyr could unite the realms again? Plus, Tyr was the Giants' greatest ally, so... Enough.
Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. <laughs> Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants, so he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? We'll see soon. <sighs> <sighs> Imagine where the lad's found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep moving. Too late. <laughs> Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. Find you! Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> Lisa! <laughs> 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 we close.
line. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. Yet another grizzly seed. <laughs> 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 I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh, no. Brother! <laughs> Winter Freya, the Raiders, Dorn Odin, barging in, and how Stalker spring in our woods? This is no safe haven Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Come on, we can get in this way.
we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realize. How do you always know how to find those? <laughs> well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Evil winter wears down all things, even stone. Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories... ...the secret stories... ...those they kept here... ...inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do? We're coming to that.
Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time. Or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other oh, shrines? Right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding Earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the Bleeding Earth? Sounds like a mine, eye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps? Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their mines did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Tyr and Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. <sighs> this way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Huh. Ground looks kind of cracked there. There's a shortcut this way. What's under there, you think? Ah, I keep smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Mumia, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. There's no 
coffin without your field. Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Sparta Farm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us. No. We'll go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! How you've grown! Uh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Until you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimba Winter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need... Is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr? To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You hated my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh, the Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. 
That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happened to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on, then. Let's get him something that fits, at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phrase in your youth? Hey, I yeah, suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant. Do you know this? Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Kid's gonna insist on getting taller. Best make a habit of swinging in for new guns. Looks like Thimble Winner's been hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love. Found some items you left behind. Tossed him in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around. Check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Need something special? Busted my shapely hunkers, forging every manner of breastplate and pauldron and all of creation. And yet now you stand before me, two step from butt ass naked. Maybe this go around, use it a little more carefully, huh? I will not. Good or what? You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Get yourself killed, hear me? I 
I knew he'd left something behind. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. See? I knew you wanted a snack. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader from New Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta da! Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those... Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell got eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. 
just... <gasps> there! That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> In case you take a joke, you old goat! <laughs> The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. key at the room for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir city. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Do you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. Everything. It's warm. <laughs> One less feathery spy. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Why are these things so fast? Watch your mind! I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. That'd be a dwarven supply ferry. Said ferry appears to be missing. Huh. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have helped that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources.
If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Ah! <laughs> to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. You may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. That's dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Huh? Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there.
Okay. There's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Oh, there! Get a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet. Maybe it's just different in Sparto Farm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Father, uh, up there. Find anything good up there?
they cap those geysers? <laughs> hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving. But the water doesn't reach. The dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. That's everything here. Want to get going? Just, I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither Valir. fast then how shall we catch it flank it attack from behind good <laughs> you did it let's see what it dropped yeah. father uh up there <laughs> there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Turn the wheel. Hmm? Can you see anything from that block? Blood, <laughs> if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about... I'd also like to hear some of the story. Traveling to other lands, which 
giant stuff and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. <laughs> That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fumble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body. I was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk to you for any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Take your time. <laughs> Appreciate it. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow!
structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Right flank! <laughs> Filthy tavern. The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Anything you want to talk about, Kratos? Another of Cavassia's poems.
Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Huh. I think I see something. Could you maybe... No! Thank you! A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to the beautiful means of resistance. Sorry to bother you. If you're you. selling something, please bugger off. If you're not selling something, uh, please kindly bugger off. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No nothing. Please! Got it. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Durlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. 
Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being he what here, little brother? I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derwin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? 
We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. That dragon sculpture's not bad. We need some special equipment to use this.
Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose. Dead. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. <laughs> One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> and awful. So see to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking of it. Going through Surtur's gauntlet. It was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun. Hmm. Well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the sea. If it's whole again, we can see where it leads. <laughs> Great. Now we can make it across.
bird trap. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. No! Go! Go! Watch your left! <laughs> <laughs> agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure spartal fine war. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. At your service. What can I make for you? Spatter free this time, right? Kratos?
Wear it with pride. I'll disinfect my tools. Oh wow, it seems useful. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Ace here in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Wow. There's a lot to explore here. Kinda nice to be out of Midgard for a bit, huh? Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. <laughs>
you collected Kavasir's stories? Give them here. Huge fan! Thank you. No, it's still here. What? The island near the guy. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right a very old wrong. Behind the door. A prisoner. Of sorts. <laughs> Is that pure Spartalfime slag? Give it here. I'll heat up the forge. By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting. The dwarves arrived because of you. I am not wrong there, Bubba. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf and sparkle fine. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could.
father, what was Spartan training like? Unforgiving. Is that why you didn't train me like one? Did you not think I could handle it? I did not think you should have had to. Thanks. Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad Enough. things they've done? We will continue later. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... No. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Those bottles. I smell fuel. Bet a spot from your blades would cause quite a boom. If you found a high enough place to drop from. the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <laughs> the Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help.
Yeah, that looks right. Call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri.
The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rigs. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Ah, but enough of that for now. Atreus, you are getting better, faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that yet.
brother. Do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Glad to see that still works. Nice, nice. Oh, what? That guy's was huge! Yes, and should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? Who else? Ah, room near the brawler. The stone giant. Aye. Mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere.
The ground looks weak down here, Father. Here. Looks like it was free. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. from up there? We're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Spatelfime. Let's keep going, lad. 
Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. Mining rigs disabled, it seems a bit fresher out here. That seems. Is. I. You're right. Thanks, brother. What is this? A Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. Broden. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. <laughs> his creature. You enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. You could. <laughs> Yo! 
Alpha! You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Anything illuminating? More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. Source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns. Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. some sort of device. <laughs> Maybe 
that dock will lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. spoke of this creature does that surprise you that an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made no thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now, but apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No, not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <gasps> Oh, my God. 
Down that rope should take us where we need to go. <laughs> Encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face to face, brother? Creature. The mining rigs. Their mistakes, Vimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off. Scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is.
Come here. What do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Seagrin's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Whatever you need. Nothing appeals to you? Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet.
So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Do they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. We're looking for Durlin. You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Who'd you collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Jump, jump, jump. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Go! 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 Go!
As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, uh, here. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. <laughs> This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. <laughs> You can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother.
now. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Dunlap. He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, we may be finding Tyr as our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua. I think I see something. Whoa! Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep. Definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Oh,
If so... It was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Yeah, 
back on the track. is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two, here we go. Covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, or could. Uh oh. Said it, little brother.
Whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. Enough about you. I'm talking about a whetstone. This place is incredible. Passage. If we can get through the sword. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from Your word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Hey, looks like you stopped the water flow on that trough. That's it. Let's head across. There's a brazier to the left of the chest. Maybe you can light it? Good bet. There's a couple more near here. Let's find them, yeah?
is cooperative in large scare quotes. be able to get up there if you help me. Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father, there's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. I hope you can make that jump. Another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Lovers, maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? <laughs> Looks like we found Darlin's mine entrance. I've got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by... Untold horrors. Go! 
That huge crane's moving this way. might have been as well-oiled as this crane. I don't believe he'd lead us astray. You think the lad's too trusty? He is eager to prove himself. Clouds his judgment. Oh, I know you have more faith in him than that, brother. Apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, four. Anything? We keep moving. I think this is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Look out! 
Well, looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's gotta be another way. Maybe this cave will get us in. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Ah, these guys are where are they all coming from? It certainly smells like we're headed into a mine. I think I can hear the water too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those lights are coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close! Right side! things leave behind is so gross. A small consequence for this thing to home. Let's keep moving. I don't think we're going to be able to get in any other way. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell the whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It's not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Bird's instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. 
And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword, looks. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. Strike true. Want something in particular? And in pristine condition, too. You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? Look, there's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Water flows block. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. Tear? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tear currently is. He he's gotta be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Fingal Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly.
across the way. There's another door. Maybe that's the one. Behind you! Look out! Learn anything? Huh? Glad we explored. Not to be discouraging, but it is a mine after all. Namir, that is discouraging. Uh, did you see that over there? There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Fully powered up. We're almost there. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? We will return. The door 
on now, shall we? I think we can go this way. That overflowing water is burning the stream. Clever. We'll be up there in no time. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. Tear can't be far. <clears throat> Exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Look around. The dwarf didn't make it out. Is that a relic?
be able to get out of here. Bro. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... No, don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. above where we got off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. I think I can hear something in there. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the World Mill, built by Durin the Generous. I believe that's all of the rebel artifacts. We can return to Brock whenever you're ready. Dead end. Where can it be? 
Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here's here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You do not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? <sighs> Sir. <laughs> Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Seems like we'll have to get to it first. The truck. Right across. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leads a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong. And you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. It's gotta be it. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? Familiar. We're back in the spiral section of the mine. You hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. A 
Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed clothes. I see what we must do. Yeah. to it then. Trickery is this, Odin? What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Blades. I know you. God killer. Have you come from me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tia. Tia. Look. You know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! What? Ah! 
This way. Cut him off. I'm about to get knocked around a bunch, aren't I? <laughs> be okay. Just take a breath. We're here to help. Just leave me alone. Tyr, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get yeah, you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We... Help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? you in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm a traitor. You already know Amir. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to Jotnar? <laughs> my mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried to help people too. She's in the light of Alphon now. You have my sympathies.
enemies are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa. Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say, my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Oh, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Balder... Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. God of War. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you.
rest and maybe some food I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner brother perhaps now you'd like to finish the story uh, the sons of Thor attacked us we killed them Baldur tried to kill Freya I killed him but you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. I'm finding the shrines. The giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all dead. Dead? Do you think Odin? We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ainuriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on either Valir, too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Look out! Oh, <laughs> Did you ever hear the Giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The Giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. A... treehouse. Lord Tyr! You're really alive! Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> so, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. You hold still! Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tyr. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tyr! Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you! I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the All Father's eye on me. You know what? 
They must be in the pantry. I'll just look quietly. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? <sighs> How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead, so it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. They seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers.
the chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! going on so father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died but I don't know what he's talking about accidental magic that is disquieting <sighs> accidental magic's not all I sort of went into a bear a bear including the slobber yeah and I lost control Frey knows magic better than anyone she could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yes! Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? For Block, how'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. What is the war? Jump! It is Soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. <sighs> anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. 
I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you That's not weird at all. We should have stayed home. Let's head back. Frozen. Maybe I can. Ah! 
Would you just let me do it? <sighs> So what was your plan, anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is... Yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't... <laughs> Excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh, oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms, then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though, sweet Vessel, I wish it did. <gasps> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself.
sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Frey of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the front! Please. Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is like the death. <gasps> and this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. Soundstone. That takes care of that. me now. He would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you're not? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me. Could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? <sighs> Ha! <laughs> 
keep going up. I wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Is that you up there? Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Huh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel Yep. That's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that you? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. There's nothing. Freya! You should have stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <clears throat> Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. <laughs> Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. 
Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfheim. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together, enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. It's a good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh... Where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking, and I, uh... Got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just missed that! Oh. <laughs> 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 
I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. The thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. Go, go, go. Very 
is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You're better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. He's not the landlord! Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me? 
me, sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Raditz Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Raditz Hosker. The one you know as Raditz Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Mm. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Mm. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? <sighs> Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands, he called it. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Another victim of war. <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Nornia's dress. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait. Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <gasps> one raven down. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Watch the body one!
you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? Where the one who freed the light? Yappa! So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. While knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. Built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward.
Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's this Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Star <laughs> Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Above the door, there's a light crystal. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... just to let these two do their things. <laughs> idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits.
just looking around. He does this sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light with them and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. Shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, I know. I see. By all means, then. These things smell awful. Anything interesting this way? Never do seem to get rid of those things. Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, 
The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. There's gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <sighs> Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm! Tear! Get back! Keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. The Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? And not our place to say. This is an elven cult. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Another chest over there. How do we reach it? We cannot. Let us continue. made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Hey, that looks interesting.
Let's continue our ascent, yes? Is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? Why would I choose a favorite? <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> on the other side. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over the temple. Yes, that's on us. We must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The dark elf is in the light now, too.
This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use twilight stone against them. Continue up this way. Father, over here. Here they come. Do what you must. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm... Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here.
And here we go again. What you like? Oh! 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 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Got him. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Has Freyr not abandoned the realm? The master keeps me informed. But now. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. Long for Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, those were all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. on the wing. I'd wondered what became of Svartli offer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we held the wrong side. I see. <laughs> Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Your father 
Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? A bit vague, innit? mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he said you went he... inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone but I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elves... I thought all the dark elves were... Dear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Down here last time. 
There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. That might be my best piece yet today. A good fit. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But 
the other realms thrive? Did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Maybe you can throw us back at him! Oh! 
Now before more arrive.
it is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, dear. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. You shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss the next move when we are out of danger.
Let's go. Can we leave now, please? 
Almost there. This way. Here. We... Open the gateway, please. Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy. But I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Go! Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Just stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. This axe just keeps getting stronger. I'll take him. left something behind. <laughs> what are these animals? Go on. 
native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? A tempting treasure chest. Damn the sand! This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Oh! Get rid of it! Oh! 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 Oh!
Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. Always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay.
changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. want to abandon it but if we have to kill a bunch of dark elves to get there i remember a young lad who until this very moment would take on an army of draugr to save a wounded animal but these aren't undead draugr they're elves i just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes getting involved where we shouldn't
the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. Bloody half you five ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain, it's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. We don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Luke. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last squid thing we saw was Diener, so. Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful workplace. That is really. Oh, well, we can't all be winners. Get out. Much of the hype matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half gaffers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? 
Now. Then let us free it. This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad? Well, he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead, but if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical, Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> Brother, I had a thought. What was that thought? I think it's about to get back.
Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. You will see. We fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. I think that means. Another half Gufa! The chisel will not open this. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barrens? A fair question. But until we find the right key, that poor half goofa will have to continue its solo act. <laughs> What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it.
a horn. Look here. Nothing, brother. Just you ever have those moments where you wish you could go back, rewrite your own past, make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you're not. I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Directions lead the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the lake of souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The lake of souls? As long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. I gotta remember to ask Peter about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about... myself.
So you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? That's not just dumped. It's not her. Come on, brother. What's happened? You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. If you were there. Yes.
Mir, what's the deal with Odin's Ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantment and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm, lucky us. A while ago, you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. You said souls come in four parts. Does that mean you can lose some of your soul? But not all of it? Aye. Form, mind, direction, and luck. If you lose any one of them, the entire being suffers. Still, 
Sometimes luck alone is enough. Just ask your father. My success does not come from luck. Ah, the refrain of the eternally lucky. here for you whatever you need I'll create and Atreus Kratos? You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? Have we more to talk about? I hope Tyr's had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithhog. Neithhog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. 
I tend the branches up here, while Neatho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... familiar. Hmm. Journey forth in health and safety, my friend. Ah. Glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whatever you like, Kratos. The stew will only be food in time. Yeah. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long. You forget how much joy lives in the little things. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe, to be smart, but use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that- Oh, Atreus, my son, and nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day? 
and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. What are you? I wish I'd known I was a god in elf arm. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonan! What do you want? Let go! Duma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey, don't run whatever. off! Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Much better knife than mothers. Please stop.
are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <sighs> scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Ah! <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. 
I'm Anne Groboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. This way. I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard that Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <clears throat> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Call it. What's that? A brooch. Big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. <sighs> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, drive, reserve. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Thanks. 
Surviving Fumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sindri would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Oh, can't believe they're nightmares there, too. Stuff. It's just something my father... You know what? Never mind. going the right way? Oh, yeah, totally. How are you doing? I'm great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... <sighs> yeah. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one, okay? I'm sorry. Ah! I've got 
got it. Tell me when. Two. <laughs> Help me with this? Oh, sure. medallion race you across <laughs> what go uh, okay I can slow down <laughs> We're almost to my mom's shrine, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. <laughs> Magic? Where do you think they learned it from? 
Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. I wonder who he is. No, no. It's not right. That can't be what happens. No, no, no. No, this isn't real. Ironwood's not real. Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Hey, hey. <laughs> It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future! It says I serve Odin and my father dies! There's just no way! Look, this is the only way things turn out! The sooner you accept that, the better! Oh, shit. I was mean to. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Loki, I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Hi, Ala. Uh, nice to meet you. 
Oh, wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um, I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> So, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. Those flowers over there. Silence. I... Okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. Can't wait to meet more of them. How many more of these fruits do you need? Are you in a hurry to leave? No, I just... gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Focus. Okay. We have time. some fruit up there. Then we should be up there too. Ooh. Wait, were you talking to me or the yak? <laughs> Let me help. Thanks. You're welcome. After you? <clears throat> Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what you saw in the mirror. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If I learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But... I can't. Not for this. <gasps> can't reach it. You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. When Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Let's head up to that ledge. 
More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big... Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. It just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Huh. Right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me. And we have to grow up so fast. At least you got an apology. Dads have a way with words, huh? Nice view. Oh, just you wait. It gets better. You know, maybe Odin needs you for something. Or maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. Green bulbs go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need to, like, fix my bow or something, can I? Of course. I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want. Nice! The lines on this one feel so alive. Oh, wow. It's quite the compliment. I really like what you did with the colors in this one. Oh, that dark blue pigment in the sky was really hard to nail down. Well, you clearly did. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that one's my favorite. I'm really proud of that one hand. Like, seriously. Look at it. Um, no, yeah. It's amazing. Hands are so hard to draw. They really are.
Hey, what's this one? I painted that one with grandmother. Wasn't as good back then. This one's covered up. Yeah, it's not ready for anyone's eyes. Except maybe Yala. You can't be that bad. <laughs> maybe I'll show it to you one day. But not today. Only three colors? Where are the rest? That's all I need. I mix them to make the rest. Is that another one of your paintings? It's pretty good. Nah, not my best. I could do better. Well, I like it. And Gubauda, earlier you said the Uden Guard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing. His dreams. Odin couldn't touch those if he tried. And they are ours. What's next? Well, now's when I usually harvest the beast roots I mix with them. I mean, unless you still want to leave. No, I can stay. I want to stay. You know, I paint too. Well, I draw. What do you draw? All kinds of things. Monsters. Artifacts, anything father and I encounter on our journeys. Oh, is your father an artist too? <laughs> no. There are some roots up this way. Easy, girl. You've got this. Do you have any animals that could maybe uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. <sighs> I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. She really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she spent time with. Shark! On the ring! <laughs> when I change. Like, I'm not in control. Do you need to be?
At least there's some roots down here. Grab them while we look for a way out. No night, remember? Oh, yeah. Guess it isn't a total loss. I don't pull up roots for a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't you. Hey, looks like they opened up a path over there. Let's catch up with Yala before more of them show up. <laughs> You're okay. But what about you, Loki? What do you feel when you change? Just... anger. Maybe you just need to find the part that will guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you stay you. Where does this bridge go? Hold on. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Maybe. Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it all right if we stick around longer? Might wanna, you know, repair some stuff. Yes. <laughs> Are there any animals you can turn into? Not yet. But for you, that might be a god thing and not a giant thing. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. Through the tunnel on the right, Yala. That's where we're headed. Huh. Head in. Go. I really like that spell. It hides this place perfectly. Maybe that's why I couldn't sense any other giants when Father and I visited. Check it out. So, what's that soul in your knife? The what? The, there's, there's a soul inside your knife. Did you not know that? No. Whose soul? You know, maybe you should keep it where it is until you figure that out. How did... I don't just go around stealing people's souls. Yala usually takes a while to get around. What you doing? Clears my mind. I try to see how many bounces I can get. You wanna try? Looks easy enough. Oh. <laughs> a little help? No, I, I think I got it. How about... Uh... One. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm you're not? Laughing at the situation. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, well, yeah. I might need a little help. You'll get it. 
Throw it flatter. It's all about timing. When you release the rock. All right. Watch this. But bring the wolf Loki, but under your control. That didn't count, by the way. My last throw. Oh, it counts. A trogger came out of the water. Excuses. We can always try again later. Where are we going now? I have something for you. A gift, I guess? Should I be scared? No. Uh, I, uh, don't have anything for you. Can I ask you something? Of course. Are you, are we, the only giants left? Sort of. It's complicated. I want to know. It'll be much easier well, to just show you. What about my prophecy then? If it is true, what do you think I should do? Doesn't matter. There's no changing where you end up. You can try whatever you want to avoid it, but it'll happen anyway. You're telling me nobody has ever changed their fate? Ever? I mean, sure, maybe some details change, but the endpoint remains the same. It's better to walk your path than to struggle against it. <gasps> no. 
What's that? A lift. We'll have to leave Yala for a bit. We're heading upward. Farra! This, um, gift doesn't seem like something you're excited about. Just means we're coming up to the end. What does that mean? You'll understand once we get there. Now, time to hold up my end of the prophecy. Follow me. This way. We're coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard, so they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? You'll see. Got it. Oh, more marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgard. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's... There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Brother? Hey, careful. Aura. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are 
the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. They're your responsibility. Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. You're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. And it's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. If I was supposed to fight alongside you, I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well, we shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Huh. Tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. Feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just... It's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? A friend? Wait, did you feel that? Feel what? Help me with this. We should get back to Yala. Something feels off. Boda, could you help? <gasps> Is she okay? Uh oh. Loki, what's happening? It's okay. I can handle it. Go check on Yala. I'll come around. <laughs> marbles they're all that remains of the giants not all of them some are just missing but where could they be 
Now we're in the Nine Realms, as far as anyone can tell. Past those rocks, there's a sinkhole. That's where we're headed. We should... Something on your mind? Nobody believed this place was real. They're gonna be so surprised. Loki, you can't tell anyone about Ironwood. Not even your father. The biggest thing keeping this place safe is that Odin's not looking for it. My wards can keep the wildlife at bay, but if Asgard ever came looking... I get it. I'm sorry. I won't tell anyone. You'll feed this green bulb too? <laughs> Whoever wants it. But maybe Earpo will get it first. He's that. He'll share that. Watch the sinkhole coming up. Lots of creatures in it. Used to get a lot of supplies for paint down there. Yeah? We should run them out. Your paint supplies are important. If that's what you want to do. Uh, sure. Why not? Me not. Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me a surprise. Keep an eye out. so dark down here. Let me fix that. Wretches! A nest of them! They're everywhere down here! I've got this! If we can light more torches, we'll be able to see, clear them out, and grab what I need from them. Let's do it. You lead. I'll light. The torches! Let me know if you see any more torches. I'll light them so we can keep moving. Keep an eye out. There could be... Robert! <laughs> you say? This will help. There we go. I swear, this place that I used to be so... icy.
Got another one? Huh, so much better. I have an idea. What if you came with me? Where? Midgard? The other realms? Anywhere. I don't think that's a great idea. My animals need me, but it's sweet of you to offer. We can see again! What's your, um, favorite color? I'm supposed to pick one? Not if you have more than one. No. No, I got this. Um, blue. Wait, maybe green? Yellow's also so good. Ugh, but how can I forget about red? Ugh. <laughs> it's so much cooler down here. You should visit Midgard. How you doing, Jim? <laughs> I got you. Ooh. Smells kind of funky, like old water. not to get lost in here, right? Okay, ready. 
think that's all of them. Thanks. Feeling any better? A bit. Let's head back. Ready to be out of here. You know, I thought learning my destiny would change something, but I'm still just me. Was it's... it like that for you? You're always still going to be you, Loki. It's about coming to terms with it. And you've come to terms with it? I thought so. Back the way we came? Nah, head around the sinkhole. It'll be quicker. I meant to ask you, your mother had visions. Can all giants tell the future? Some, in dreams. Hey, yeah, I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. What are those? Fireflies? Are they dangerous? <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I 
I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. <sighs> I meant what I said before. You know? About your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Oh, damn time. What the... Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't... feel anything. <laughs> There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. into Gryla, please don't do anything drastic. Why? She's my grandmother. What? She wasn't always like this. When she learned my father wouldn't do anything to avert his fate, she changed. I see. Looks like we'll need to find a way through. See anything on the other side? Looking. Nice. 
Let's keep going. A lot of giants live here over time you want to know about your mother she lived this entire life before she had me but i don't know anything about it sorry i don't know anything about her your mother left the path of the giants way before i was born This is Gryla's home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she might have more animals inside. We have to be quick. <sighs> There's another way in, up there. We'll have to figure out how to get to it. What does she need animal souls for anyway? She can live moments from their lives. Finally, they feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. Her only worries being what to hunt and where to sleep. But it's not real. Oh. Ryla's still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. She might keep the animals down there. He's already in the lock. Just gotta turn it. Loki. Hey, we know my future, and it doesn't involve us getting killed by your grandma. Not how it works. Loki, we should get moving if we're gonna do this.
I think I can hear something breathing near the back of the cellar. Me too. But I'm not hearing your voice. We need to find a way back. I can't feel anything, just like the other one. She took its soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you? You didn't have a least favorite giant, did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... You can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? That's it? Where's it going? Did that even work? I don't know. Here. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. I just... think they're better off with you. Loki, are you certain? Call me Atreus. Okay. Let's get back. Head up those stairs again. I'm sorry. I just... We'll have to get out the same way we came in. 
She can't know we were here. And we better put that cut back when we get to it. We have to close the door. I've got it. a soul to anybody. It's just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf. Then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. I told you never to come back here. That's right. Look at me. So many things I've forgotten, and you refuse to be one of them. Swing across? Where'd you go? Hmm? You hiding? You should have stayed with me. Get away! 
you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are Nothing! And no one will ever remember you! Not even Loki! You'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story! He'll be too busy mourning his father! I see you again! You wish you died with your parents! You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for? She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me. But sometimes I'd wake up and I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. Just 
take just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? This way. We should get you back. You've been gone longer than you think. Anchor Boda. It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then, that's two out of three. Atreus. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate. Um, last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go. Fine. You coming or what? Go! 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 Fox? Oh, no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're saying. This field always smells so amazing. <laughs> I assume your nose is much better like this. Don't get too distracted! He's up! Master! We got him now! I don't think so! Whoop! Whoa! Oh, come on! You're not getting tired now, are you? Magic fox the whole way. Loki, or er, Atreus. Thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. <sighs> My prophecy. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. Hmm. Laufei? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... you've still got time... to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know.
gotta be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. <laughs> sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What did I get myself into? What were you thinking? I... 
I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. It's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Violation imagine. No! You do not want this. Call 
Maybe. For the moment. You're of more use to me. Alive. This is home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. I must set things right. Um. We'll take him. Oh, Your Majesty. A pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. Ain't going nowhere without this. Where would you muck spouts even be without me? What 
What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scroat, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mutlheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. <laughs> Hey, how's about a riddle to lighten the mood? What runs with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. Brock! Come on, let's find a way forward. That's gonna need more magic than we got on it. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? That looks interesting. Woo! But don't that get the old 
juices flowing. Forgot how much I like scrapping dirty. Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn, hidden themselves out in the wilds, and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again, as soon as I was exiled? <laughs> Boy, you don't miss a strap of loot, do you? Oh! <laughs> Brother, do you really think she'll let us off the hook if you help her? I do not know. I choose to help. After that, we will see. Ah. A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of good... That's one way of looking at it. A shame. Bet this here would have made for a prime shop. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. Poetry of your own brother? No. Well, ask a stupid question.
memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality meats. Now, though I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with my own kid. Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. <laughs> Sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, where they make you good and great. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough. <laughs> when the day comes to face prayer again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. You understand me? <laughs> it will not be while I'm stuck in this proposal. <laughs> Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. <laughs> what did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. 
What'd you find? Sounds shiny. This river. It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. You can't do anything with that yet, it seems. Hold up! Even you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours. Yeah. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come on up! Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save you. Uh-oh. Yeah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. here. Oh, one eye, send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right.
No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. Settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blubber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Freya. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face. Yeah. His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still got working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done.
Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Where are you looking at? What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, phew. Yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, just short on help. I see. Well, let's have a look at the map then. Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about. Go! An ancient!
fought them before, haven't you? Take those. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I have only tried to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah! 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never missed you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. You hear that? Noken! And so close to the village! Their song makes their allies invulnerable! They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all! I hardly recognize it. I used to play hide and seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. 
Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this? May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. 
That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn holes we found in the foothills of Midgard, Aegean. Yeah. Considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight the Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one goal concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, boy. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. <sighs> you would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. <laughs>
Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? Use your blades to swing the torch to the other side. Let's cross the bridge. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. See what happens when you don't fight a truth. All right, now back to the task at hand. That's one of Odin's captains. Bring 
back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitude. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Did it. not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. 
So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Rayan. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Oh! 
done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice.
that I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blade <laughs> Fast learner. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. <laughs> Learn to use it. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. <clears throat> These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of the <laughs> Night. 
Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. and Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time.
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? <laughs> My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But something are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. Damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large bulbous thing. You can't miss it. 
So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. At last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes. But those will last. 
awful words I said to you. Have you any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. missed you so much. And I you, Evie. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just... Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, even you ain't staying here. Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, Maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal here. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? That big fella we're traveling with him might want to help me with a thing. Mayhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make you full. Ready when you are.
that good or what? Get so much as a paper cut in that. you a little while very good what is it yeah i spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta once old army came to town i lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze I was so frazzled i accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables what irreplaceables well just one really an orb i'd be mighty grateful if you would find it what is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Suna. Elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out right past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. But where? Tears really alive? Aye. Right. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alpine's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. We can explore the river now. We hope we'll write some more words. We don't have the equipment for this.
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. With Mangold, Meyer, and Poem. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. She is trapped here, ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. You're certain. I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Poem. We should find something. What did you find? As you asked. I'm not concerned. Be weary. Sometimes I wonder if God lived too long. I once felt the same. I 
I need only one more ingredient. And then what? Then I fix things. <laughs> be useful. That's everything I need. Let's return to the Sixth Spirit. You would cure the dead. I promise you. You do not even remember her. Nor she you. Let us return to the Spirit. the plants. Could this be? I feel my vitality returning to me. I feel Freya. I am here. I knew you would return. Even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you. But it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed. Shall we continue? Yes.
its garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Always this balance. The ecosystem. It's out of balance. is desolation a fitting fate spirit Freya, you returned astrid what happened to you to your garden the angry are my last work rotted my monument to your glory reduced to this i am sorry my queen you need never apologize to me old friend I swore to keep this garden in bloom until it returned to live forever amongst its putrescence a just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. Poisoning Astrid's garden. Life returns to the garden. Good. When my garden blooms, so will I see.
garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. The family crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Finished. Let's return to Astrid. What's it say, brother? Again. I can feel it. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. Armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. Peace offering from my people, and a waste of good work. Stop! Stop! 
Head back and get inside.
outfit. Feels like there was something else. Anything interesting, brother? Find that orb yet? <laughs> you got some slag from the homeland. Huh? Get over, I'll fix you up some. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
Father said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. And we'll just stop there for now. What utter foolishness. What is wrong? Of course, I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gulhil. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came. We needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted. As theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. Must be Sather this way. We'll need to find another way around. Hmm. <laughs> 
So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding site. souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom of death. Ugh. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Those scrawlings must be saving nearby. Lunda's ore. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her.
more Sather markings. Gunhild's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. Sigil arrows won't work on this. That's all Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little sphere. Should we return them to her? Good thing you learned the runes, brother. Over there. Those are the lost Sather spirits. Friends of Gunhil. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. Changing arrows! We should get moving. shield if you're not going to use it.
family crest of Cavassier the Wise. More like Cavassier the Inebriated, in truth. I think that's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with Sather magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. You blame yourself. And? It will not lessen your pain. Let's return to Gumi. Unless you'd like to condescend more? I do not. Beautiful, isn't it? I wish things had gone differently, but these Saber are at rest now. Anything illuminating? Your friends are at peace. Good. And... I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake. But it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I helped no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has eased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realm. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother.
You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Lunda. Right. Business time. Here. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite hole. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you are so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mamir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. Mm. That's hard not to, brother. I'll try. Okay. Okay. You make up your mind. And Lady Freya? What are you looking for? Hitting the road or chewing the fat? Exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that, at least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. Oh, oh, oh. 
you know why I left that night, Mamir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad, I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find, destroyed the room. There was only coldness after that. I tried to make it work, but... No one could have lived like that, Your Majesty. Allow me. Fool. No. I never thought I'd come back here. work on this.
Sigil arrows won't work on me. Reavers, of course. Rot! Watch out! It's a soul eater! It doesn't belong here! We must get rid of it! It's unstable! Get back! Behind you, brother! Hopefully the objects I'm looking for are still here. Learn anything? The door is shut. If memory serves, 
We'll need to light both of those torches to open it. It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. We drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. What's it say, brother?
can't read that from here. Let's head back and I can take a better look. Better now? No. The pain only grows. Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? So much about that day I wish I could change. If only I'd seen the signs. Anything interesting, brother? One of the first families ripped apart by the war.
My circlet's here. <laughs> A symbol of commitment. At the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too.
The word is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. I thought I'd feel peace by breaking it. But I feel nothing. Perhaps what you see cannot be found in a circlet. You may be right. After all the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Are you ready? My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. A symbol of our union. The stone refuses to let go. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. I bond to my son. To the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy, but it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life. Such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. Put you in a terrible situation. For that, Freya, I am truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious no -no. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty. for that boat.
You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Green Thor whispered to you? Who? Green Thor, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. I lost it. I hoped it might have given us another way. About time I had something to do. These will look real nice in my collection.
That Lunda's armor? Hand it over. I can fix it up right quick. About time I had something to do. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. to do or no? Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. We found a Hofgoofer out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofgoofer? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Lead the way. a son too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father would him. I wonder if your son could benefit from that too. He has befriended the other dwarf. The Blue One's brother. Oh. Well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half gufa. <laughs> It looks as though the Light Elf sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela, and another storm to endure. <laughs> I remember when Freyr and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hathgifa. 
But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alpine. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hopgoofa is free. abandoned ancient settlement by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track then. of hive material is sensitive to sound. <laughs> when I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the Light Well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. <laughs> well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few weeks, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. More hive. But denser. Whoa. Well, there you go. Ha! 
light elves. don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim. So it appears. Big Veer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well... below would disagree. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Ha 
Kalashnikov goofas will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from the harsh world. <laughs> I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face when it's free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I would there's some twilight stone. <laughs> Brother. Oh! 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 
Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold its power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story.
appears we've overstayed our welcome in our place. Yet again. solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? I've always wondered, why was Freya so revered here so quickly on his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freya was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim back in the dawn of realm travel. Oh, well, a bit before my time. Do you tell. We believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the flood, ah! until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Enough. We will continue later. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Came from the runic core! What the hell? Look at that thing! It's vulnerable when it glows! Save yourself an opening! Don't waste it! Don't waste 
Magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Another of Cavassier's poems. Oh, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mamir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> ah! on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. archive of knowledge no sign of the light elves 
for now. Maybe they've left for the day, and we can browse at our leisure. <laughs> so, these are the Valin schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Look here. These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a break from the Aye. Quite the advantage for the Light Elves. All this knowledge of their ancestors. Their shared history, poetry, just sitting here. What a waste. Inscription. The consul. Big Fear spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lotta Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use the shield strike, brother! <laughs> 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 Careful! <laughs> 
Helga brought him up. She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. Mind picking up that story about your brother? I think you said a giant had appeared in Vanaheim. That's right. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately infatuated with her. She always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he... wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs>
In my travels, I heard of a great battle in your homeland, at a place called the Gates of Fire. The Hot Gates. You are there? Is that regret in your voice? I did regret not dying there for many years. But no longer. I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickles? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now? mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter-spell. <laughs> Do 
Do you regret it, Lemire? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? I regret exchanging my life for my freedom. That's a question I ask myself every day, my lord. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. Statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument, one that symbolizes the potential for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. Well. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. Mm. 
in honor of the Enlightened One. May his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Flair's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. Perhaps we can bring these two animals back to Vanaheim, or Midgard even. Specky and Spana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It's peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. You know, Freyr loved to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. Later, we're gonna have to find a lock to put them in. I wonder, how these two pups end up yoked to the sled? Ever try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulan could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new uses for them once the sandstorm arrived. I imagine they're now bred to aid in traveling the surface.
Mine, imprisoning a drake. I can't decide whether to be impressed or horrified. Either way, it is over now.
A token. A badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them up outside their dwellings. Show their support for my brother. That's all my brother's tributes. Do you prefer we hang on to them? Do what you will. If Freyr didn't bother taking them when he left Alfheim, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the dwarves. Of habit, I suppose, since I don't sleep anymore. Although, it's far more confounding that I'm the tired one. I've seen you stay awake for days at a time without so much as a drooping eyelid. Not even a nap. Gods do not nap. Oh, tell that to Thor. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Hmm. Sucker, he owes me one. Thank me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. 
Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming. Well, come on, man. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joints getting classier by the... Can it be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you, too. I'd feared the worst for so long, what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya, I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Baldur. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So you're not here to prevent Ragnarok. You're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone. The way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. <sighs> Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. Let's do it! And now for the goddess. The Aesir will be running scared. You know what you want? Let's make something then. Can this lock be opened without damaging the book? The elves in Freya's camp wish to read it. Brock never met no lock he couldn't lick. I'll get her open where it needs getting. Oh, Bloom descends her love. Bless her spotted heart. Lucky for you, I'm still buying. Need something special? You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me! It's fine if he keeps secrets, it's fine if Mom did! It is not fine! Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path! Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother! What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. 
But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! Oh. What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. Need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? <laughs> 
Trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard, then, blind. I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! I go. If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. <sighs> Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Charlie! Charlie! 
Please. Please! Charlie! Let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow. It's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From around in Vanahan? She must have really missed it. Is this... Baldur's? Wonder how Father was able to earn her forgiveness. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him.
Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird. Is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! Wherever this is, it's beautiful. Not a sign of Fimble Winter. The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! You don't seem friendly. Hey, Odin! I thought you said I was welcome in Asgard. Beautiful here. Not a sign of Fimble Winter. I better keep heading towards the wall. You could have led me around those. I know! Got it! I see him! I 
be the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change father's fate. Hey, Bird, where'd you go? Hold on, I'm coming. Just gotta find a way through. What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold-by-prophecy kind of way. Safe from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimfjord. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it. I didn't think to ask. Hold on, how was Frey at the house? Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. <sighs> Father would just burn this away with his blade. But what can I do? Help! Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What does Rob say? If I could just get that fire to spread to. <laughs> there we go. better angle on that fire. Wait, that sounds like people.
You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. Do you... You don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But... Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you staying? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well. This I gotta see. Need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <gasps> Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. It's a pretty good guy. Though... Sure, he'll know too much about climbing. <laughs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I like looking down. It shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Th nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Tyr's temple. Oh, no wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? <sighs> hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story? Would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. <clears throat> Why? Up here?
Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. That's the worst of it now. <sighs> or not. I get it. Both sides, though. to fly. I'm doing what I can. <sighs> huh. I don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, 
Hugin, how about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reemther's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Then why are you out there, and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you. That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or...? No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar. <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> this way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Oh, done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea, I see. Oh, uh, no. <sighs> it's Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? 
You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Ghoultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Kramther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Uh. Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice down. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do it. So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. Oh, very nice. Who moves that act? It is a wonder that they took our loss every war they ever fought. I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. 
Smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh... I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me, not yet. But he's got some very big questions, and I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, no, Father. Oh, no. Siafa. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. How'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, yeah, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, what not decapitated. Look? Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ainhuyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ainhuyar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I'll do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity. 
gives things meaning. Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Warm. Moon the Nafen, Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK. But look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. <laughs> all right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all oh, father. Sir? <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Durland? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. And they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. Has less mud on it anyway. Nice. Whoa, I can use this. Hmm. Huh. Nicely equipped. What needs work?
Hmm. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. <clears throat> uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. What? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did. Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. Sorry about her. Not. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Shut up and drink. Something's different with the meat. No, there isn't. Hey, as long as we need to. That's what the Aesir would say. Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. Huh? Come on. You haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Let's go. Listen, whatever Grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. 
Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? You, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. You're welcome. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. And more than that, and I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like... knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Small there. Obsidiani Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark, and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me?
Moose Bahan. The rest of the mask is here. It's where our father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms? Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! You can't just grab people like that. No, what else are they gonna do? Throw you? up there hitting us with fire. Where's your ball already? <laughs> you know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my son. I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the all fun Speaking mass. Right. Need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Gamor, Bronair, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the nine realms when I reveled. Every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play.
Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. So where's the mask saying to go? Somehow I don't think the mask is telling us to go here. mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She said... Hey, come look at this. Thor, what the... Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Surtur's Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. <sighs> Trials are just past that cliff. I get something you do to do First, we deal with them. Come on, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? Time. That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. Worried? Not in the slightest. Yeah. I need a bigger child. Don't bother. Ah! <laughs> 
The Allfather's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now to get to that shrine. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. Feels like forever ago. Here's the shrine. Ah! Uh, can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who is trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I, I... I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. 
They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to, what seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, no, no. Look, it's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... Um, love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the God of Thunder? Oh. Down like me. Red, red Through. Great. You want to help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help to defeat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father? Hey, what's taking so long? You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Thrude wouldn't. She'd be faring better than you, at least. Time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. Oh, where to? Let me check. Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? Looks like we need to head through that gate. Thor? Make that impressive. Real god stuff. You are a god. Damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. <laughs> Damn it! 
Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never going to feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. You're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What did you do? Loki. The rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, oh, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm going to help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this. Figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're going to tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. Hey, you're back. Well, not really. Did you think that I would be? Well, I'm, it's pretty good. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. You know that's not what I want for her. You don't want her to have a sword. But it's not about having a sword. It's about what you use it for. I think you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And I don't want that for her either, okay? You 
don't have to worry. She's a smart girl. Smarter than her father. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come here. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm, nicely equipped. What needs work? Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. But I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encouraged his foolishness. Confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. 
Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before, more than once, but believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate? Lead your armies into war, secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another, for your own sake. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neathhoek? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to.
Do we have to be here? What me out, all these poor is this? Ravens. The ones we've been destroying. Odin's little spies. Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half lives now belong to no other. The Father. Odin, I presume? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. have created these creatures but how i haven't the foggiest they came after my time with them but perhaps we should continue to destroy any of odin's ravens we find Destroying the ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free? Well, free of Odin's control anyway. We told what we saw, empowered his lies. Good little ravens, good little spies.
we are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, Fay herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. We are on the lake. How will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrim. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. 
I should have guessed it was Sintran helping you to cover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. the ominous broken gravestone. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. <laughs> oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... Hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence. Where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... Being inside your own mind. 
But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Faye's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. We didn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. <laughs> it's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, nah. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. Wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. Here's the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abuse their power. When I challenge them, they threaten to undo my existence. So I kill them and turn their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. <laughs> We 
We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. I didn't tell them I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out. Not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. Oh, that's done. 
No. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made under the guards. Delightful. our own minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, parts of your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. Yeah. 
This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Here we go. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all and I cannot change. See? You forgot the smartest man alive. Certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mimir. Mm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Right now! 
This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? <clears throat> terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. <clears throat> hey, how very dare you! Babbling! to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! I am so sick of your constant menace! <laughs> I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To stop us? To throw us? Or to tell us? No! You also took the side of the power of the enemy! You used Brother, it! Watch out! There's more of them! Easy now! You stop the violent guy in the Eden! You can't do that! But name him and call him brother! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the thing! Let's pull him the end! Come here! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! No. Why didn't you trust your own son? 
the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right good Talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Doubt it would make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head enter the home of the Norns tentatively. Finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek to know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. 
merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is, how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahort. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. I see something. Look, I think. 
think we're missing the known's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> Do Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? I'm here for you. Always a joy to work on these. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. That ought to hurt him. Whatever you need, I'll create. What can I make for you?
Anything for Freya? Kratos? Have we more to talk about? That's part of Tyr's statue. Defend the peace. I remember the Jotner crafting these bracers for Tyr's statue. They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotner also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor them. The Giants were not wrong. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Bag. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. 
You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Kratos, tell me more of your life. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Never seen craftsmanship like this before. Can't imagine how old it is. Now where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears vault. <laughs> about the oracles of your land. Would you say they manipulated events? Did they have an agenda? I do not doubt they held their own interests first. But in my experience, they could be easily fooled by their own prophecies. Would that be a specific experience, brother? Hmm. Once, I sought the oracle for a means to break my bondage to Ares. One priestess had visions that showed her Olympus would be brought to ruin by the god of war. Therefore, she helped me, intending to undermine Ares and protect her realm. She did not foresee that I would kill him and take his office. Hold on. What's this way? Let us find out. <laughs> the Oarsmen. Uh, a monument to conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though.
This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from.
down. used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. is what's left of Fjortelund. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. <laughs> Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. <laughs>
You know, brother, Sigrun told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. The other staircase. Artifact from the River Empire. Never been myself. I hear it's lovely. those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. The lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find a partner.
Amir, what did those runes say? Secret. She loved another. A king named Helgi. <laughs> Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Amir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? I suppose I did. My brains, Kratos' is brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? such an encampment. That was... kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Secret when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough.
of vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them. I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, what gets around about that sort of thing. Another coal raider camp. Kratos. Oh! We should do something about that.
Why do they whine? Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. <laughs> Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake.
Hmm? Oh, we used to travel through this temple constantly. A quick how do you do to Brock? Then off on another adventure. You miss it? Aye. Everything for help. Simple as that. Agreed. Been ashamed to have left that behind. Sure, I'm open. Ready when you are. Yep, before you head off. survived a giant's corpse to a stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, ah! no. Well, there you go. <laughs> that must be Tyr's helmet from his statue. Win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days.
finish what you were saying about the Oracle of your homeland. She helped you against the God of War, because she had visions that the God of War would bring down Olympus. Yes, and in defeating Ares, I became the God of War. In the end, I proved her vision of doom correct. So the Oracle herself brought about the very future she hoped to avoid. I suppose we're in fine company at that. <laughs> Looks to be a sculptor from the southern lands. Freya, you mentioned that Fimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love Tyr inspired. Where I go, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. <laughs> There. I assume it was Sigrun then who helped you retrieve your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. 
help me just the same. You're on fire, Fritor! It won't fire! It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wounds, in their fear. Let us keep moving. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye, very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it.
Doesn't look like you can brute force it. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Well done. not in 
intentional. Oh, sure. Together again, Mamir. Does this look like an abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Seagrin's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. That key we found in another part of Seagrin's kingdom. Think it'll unlock it? Not when it's broken in two. Then let us find the other half. Where is Seagram now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. What's that outpost? How can I help? And for the Valkyrie Queen? Hope it's to your liking. What'll it be? I'll disinfect my tools. Got time to chat? Another sign from Fjotalund, Mimir. Another sleep patrol, courtesy of the dwarves. Sad to see Seagrin's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mimir, if you don't take a tour of the kingdom, you might not like everything you find. 
So she loved another mm. before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. <laughs> A musical instrument from your homeland, isn't it? Can you play? Yes. Will you? No.
Ah, she cast riches and power aside to follow a higher calling with the Valkyrie. Do you really put her on a pedestal? That's what pedestals are for, aren't they? Raising up the virtuous. If you say so. Well done. Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. That can't be. It is. Oh, Mia. Look, the other half of the vault key. Now that we've made the key hole again, we should head back to the treasury. See what fortunes await inside. Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrid and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrid and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. Is 
Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. else I recall about that Greek play I mentioned, if you won't take offense to the critique. As a work of performance, it consisted almost entirely of watching people give speeches and receive terrible news. Might have been nice to see more events dramatized instead of described. It is Greek tradition for a story to unfold in a single time and place uninterrupted. It is more clear. If you say so. There's Fiotaloon's treasury. We can enter the vault now. <laughs> Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Fair? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Planning all this only makes me love her more. Despite my flaws, my regrets, knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it.
Yes! I thought death had cured me of my appetite, but damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. Awakened a fair few culinary cravings, did. Black pudding, haggis and neeps. Oh, porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-thimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. What the hell's an olive? some comfort from his death. Still scared. Not of the Raiders. Do not. Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Yes. Good girls.
Kratos, tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Mm -hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A mirror will turn her own powers against her. Or you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. <sighs> what else is there? All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. If I don't have it, you, know where to find you it. don't need it. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need him. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. 
Even if we did, Drapnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Drapnir. Drapnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Drapnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. You will not allow harm to come to him. not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady, no idea what he's on about, brother. To be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him, that follows you both. I'm sorry. You ready? See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you shrimps think that'll keep us out well think the fuck again oh. 
What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates said never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. <laughs> for liquor and explosives. Well, on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Oh, right. Might have earned that one. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Another oil spill. <laughs> ah! A fortuitous oil spill. Oh, my God. 
Kratos? Kratos! Sindri! Is that you? Yes. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off to him. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, for each entitled... These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. It's open. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those. <laughs> ah, you've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. 
I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. What for? Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see. Nothing in the world. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talk to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? 
She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant? This is mere Say conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. Ah, oh, Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well. You have fun now. Hey, you made it. About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Falky! Well, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. Better pick out that dish! Oh. 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 Oh.
Not so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Hey, try sticking your hand in that thing. Welcome in Dangerous crop scarper. <laughs> I'll have you know that was plagiarized when we found it. Sure it was. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. <laughs> you see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. <laughs> well, you could start by burning off this crud. <laughs> mm. No crap up there. Why don't 
Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that guy's in there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! I got the gate open, but you kind of need to be up here to use it, you dig? He ascends! Of course, now the gate is open. <laughs> ah, promising. Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Gates open. Come on through and get those cables clear. I think they've seen it. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam point. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on! I smell trouble. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Do something about it! <laughs> Go! 
creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noka. But Sindri had never had it, said a But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so. Man, are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Fix everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. <clears throat> Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I won't drop. Fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own cake. Save your extra effort. Personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of it. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. You're almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might. Bless you, Doris. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. This weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon of fortune learned. Well, hell! I couldn't have put it more forebodingly myself. Go! 
See that weak spot? Jam one in right there. That's it! Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Circumstances on the right quick. Guesses, bro. 
gets bigger, the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. One last favor to ask of the both of you, we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Oh, very well. These ugly birds. Maybe those grill will take him down. Behind you, brother! Oh, no. 
probably enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Can I see how you'll be getting down from up here? Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end your working and working. <laughs> and I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone now a good time I just want to talk dad to dad speaking of which imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door he's doing well by the way and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever. Fine. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder 
that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, we give a number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? 
No. On that, I'm afraid I believe her. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Berserker gravestone. You know what to do, brother. in my breath over. His berserk of champions even less so. Trash. The lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. But finding that help changed things. Get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course.
yellow horn. What is it? Where did it come from? It's a very loud horn, and I've not the faintest idea. Mamiya. No, truly. No one knows where the yellow horn originated. Odin just gained possession of it one day. Memory serves. We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Dunlin's hammer shouldn't be far behind. to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and was, well, seemingly proven right. Is that why you haven't moved on? My son, I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. Sailors once left Midgard to seek our fortunes elsewhere. We were so close to succeeding. My boy, I'm so sorry. His son is surely gone by now. It costs us little to make sure. Really? Beautiful from up here. <laughs> Another incomplete rune slate. one piece after all this time. Unlike Durlin's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Right, right. Ah. 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 
We'll have to find a way through this debris. The broken Muspelheim seat is now complete. We should find a mystic gateway. Perhaps we'll find Surtur's combat challenges. Between the creatures and all the debris, no one could have made it out of here alive. Creatures and all the debris. No one could have made it out of here alive.
Why exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fella, huh? Open up just ahead. <clears throat> Quite the sum there, brother. We will find the ghost son. Really? His request isn't a distraction? He does not know his son's fate. the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. Very talented with a sword. Mumia. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the Isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. Another Berserker Gravestone. Go, go, go! 
Invoking Lyra after what they did. Lyra? I've never heard of it. It was a peaceful kingdom, full of artists and poets. But it fell to ruin long ago. And these berserkers were responsible. Them and their accursed king, Hrolf. What little blood I have still boils at the thought. Your former home, I assume. Let's just take this victory and move on, eh? There is no need to shoulder this burden on your own. Admittedly, you're shouldering the brunt of the work here. Let me worry about the emotional burden. to find the other treasure on his own, to spare you the dangers. It seems that in your efforts to protect one another, you each came to one of these islands on your own, and... I've been such a fool. But... Thank you, Mickey, for telling me. Perhaps now, we can see each other again. What a shame. In their attempt to spare the other, they both perished. There is a lesson there. What now? We will retrieve the treasure, then return to the father. What for? To finish what he and his son started. That water wheel's getting no water. Something appears to be atop that island. Perhaps the treasure the spirit spoke of. You did it, Master Kratos! A spectacular job! Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. I can't tell if he was patronizing, or if that was just plain sad. Both. We could use that lift, but not while it's up there.
There we go. Quite the cash. I see why it meant so much to our lost treasure seekers. Perhaps we should go tell the father what became of his son. upset. He already has. Riddle could the answer be nothing 
What gets bigger the more you take away? Nothing. Uh, I don't think so, brother. Hmm. I do not like riddles. You're back. We have news of your son. Oh, please, tell me. He died trying to find the other treasure. He didn't know you were doing the same. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. We'd be alive and rich beyond all reason. Together. Don't blame yourself. He is at peace. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. Yes. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes. You don't like riddles, eh? No. No, oh, you just haven't heard any good ones. Here. I'm tall when I'm young, short when I'm old. What happened? A candle. Yeah. Heard that one before? No. Oh. Well, did you like it? No. Headed back to the city? Came by and took out an Ainher Yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. <sighs> you again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. 
Never expected to see this thing again. Yeah, fancy a riddle. If you fancy a boot to the head. Riddle solved. Suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge.
Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? Some you expected it to be sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. The whole most making up words again. I said it was a motif. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here.
What's the witch of the woods need? Big man? Sure stinks like Midgard. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle wave, little one? Father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. It is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful. And you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Some. Fortunately for you, he remains dreadfully still. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? What would you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Bay. I fear for him. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three, hey, it's three, hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I I think it's a great idea. But uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, it didn't. That didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Grandfather wants to see you. Oh, Grandfather. Right, okay, uh, here, then take this and uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And uh, Treyas, see you later. Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. It's the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? Nicely equipped. What needs work? Odin's down in his library. What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. Finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? The first giant? Tell me. Can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, 
I saw something. The rift. Possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside, and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? Amir said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Through. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. Now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. father who corrupted them or that he caused the desolation in Midgard or that he had all the giants killed am I missing anything uh lots actually crimes as my grandfather committed. Let's see. He decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, 
Murdered Grawa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Mimir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap, or you're a hypocrite for helping him. True. My father wasn't always the person he is now. But he changed. Maybe Odin can too. I know how hard it is to hear this stuff, but you should know the truth. What you choose to do with it, that's up to you. Where the mask said to go? What's it say? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way! There now, could be our way around. I got this. Uh huh. Sure you do. Hey, we're okay, right? I guess. Maybe our families are just meant to be enemies. Well, not us. I don't believe that. <laughs> what I do believe is that you'll make a great Valkyrie. I'll tell your mom the same thing, even if she scares the life out of me. No way through up here either. Now what? I'm not sure. But my gut's telling me what we need is here. Let's go.
Now we go right. Into a group of hell walk. Let's get him. Too. There has to be another way. Keep your eyes peeled. What's the mask say? So, the mask's pull is a little weird with all these buildings in the way, but I think we're going the right way. You think? to see what I can do. I know. We both do. <sighs> Mask? Uh, looks like it's through here. Let me get that for you. Okay, this thing is really fighting me. See anything in there? There. Nice. Whatever you shot crashed through the floor again. Let's head back and check it out. So, I talk about my mom a lot. What's your dad like? He's intense. Like he's trying to force me into this mold. But I'm not sure that's me. Oof. Well, I know exactly what that's like. Thing is, I don't know what I want. I love that you do. You'll figure it out. Yeah! <laughs> 
Mom's gonna have a real tough time keeping me in Asgard after this. Which way? The mask showed it was straight ahead earlier. But of course the way's blocked. Maybe they're trying to keep people out. Or something in. I bet there's another way around. There always is. You know you wanted to be a Valkyrie. I didn't always. After a bad fight with Mom, I snuck out and found them training. Somehow every movement they made had such purpose, like they knew exactly where they needed to be. And in that moment, so did I. So, where to now? Uh, looks like it's through here. Too heavy? Shut up. Something's blocking it. I'll take a look. But I want to hear the rest. Deal. Not bad. I know. As I was saying, seeing the Valkyries fight, all strength and style, no apologies, it gave me clarity. For the first time, I saw my path forward. Clear as day. Too bad giants have to follow prophecy. Who cares? Thank you for that. Just like we've been doing here. Step aside, little man. <sighs> this one sucks too! <sighs> Got it. Sure looks like it. Stupid crate. Looks like it's through here, but it's blocked. What if I move this? Aha! Can you get up there? Uh. 
if you can find a way to cut the crate down on the other side. I'll wait here. I don't have a fancy way up like you do. Got it. Ha! Ingrid, was I too rude about her grandfather? She should know the truth, right? Yeah, guess so. Hey, you talking to me? Uh, no, just talking to Ingrid. Okay, well, I'm waiting. Let's see. Where can I get a better view of that crate? Get back. Hey, what's going on out there? You okay? I got it. open. Let's go. Whoa, the mask is freaking out. We must be close. Probably nothing. We gotta get out of here. The mask. We're so close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe. He's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right. Let's start with the lock not near its teeth.
there was another one under his foot. in the chamber he was guarding. A dead end? Please tell me it's down in the water or something. There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's, it's gonna be okay. How can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. between realms, right? <laughs> well, I suppose I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half-breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, Everyone takes it easy on you, because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat, drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. have a lot to learn, little girl, starting with who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believe the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please. Do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! You're so close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Finish throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the author. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! He's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the Allfather sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving if we could only somehow harness your uselessness we could fuel this entire city fine 
It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. We have a lot to discuss. Loki, I'll meet you in your room when I'm finished here. Shouldn't be long. Okay. My mission went quite well, Allfather. Secured the item we've discussed. The mask, on the other hand, well, <laughs> they are merely children. The adults need to talk now, Loki. Run along. Thanks a lot. Throod, I... I don't want to hear it. Everything was fine until you showed up. I'll make it up to you, I swear. I don't really want to talk right now. Up. It's times like this I really miss home. Ingrid, did you have a home before you came here? Someone who took care of you? That sounds like a yes. Maybe I could help you find them without, you know, screwing it up. Sound like a plan? May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. OK, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Loki, when you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugin will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. I thought I'd be so relieved to be back here. If you're staying, you might be waiting a while. Better 
use the Mystic Gateway quick. Odin was right. Freeing Garm. How did I screw up so badly? Okay. Guess it's time to face him. No running away this time. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no! It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? <sighs> Just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering.
has happened. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers, they're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fuck lad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. <sighs> One problem. Excuse I'm not sure I have a way back to Helheim. Perhaps the squirrel does. I need to speak with you at once. At once, I say. Gentlemen, I apologize for my brusque tone, but whatever has lately transpired in Helheim is completely unacceptable. I must insist you remedy the situation without further delay. I implore you, return to Helheim post-haste and undo whatever it is you've done. Up. Aren't you gonna, you know, reprimand me? No. I am relieved. You are safe. Okay. Wow. Maybe I should run away more often. Atreus. Kidding. Sorry. So where'd the new spear come from? Brock made it. From Dropnir. What's that? A ring. But what's its story? I do not know. You were not there to ask. <sighs> Andreas. He's probably just scared. He was chained up for a really long time. Okay. A desperate creature can be the most dangerous. I know. Come on, we gotta get across before he opens up more realm pairs. Spear knock out that piece of the wall. Looks fragile enough. Wind powers? Cool. Did Odin ask you to free that creature? What? No. Why? Are you not working with him? It's not what you think. Whatever he promised, he cannot be trusted. I don't. But he has something I need. It's hard to explain.
get up there. But this ice is in the way. I will handle it. you to trust me I know I have no right to ask can you anyway what does he have that you need why can you not tell me it's complicated what about you why do you have a new weapon I thought you didn't want more I do not but it's complicated Everyone keeps secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. And don't worry about Odin. I'm not going back there. That is good to hear. Around here. Garm's been busy. I think I understand how Freya closed one. Keep the enemies away if you can. I can. Let me know when you're ready. All those hell walkers up there. We find Garm. Yes, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Things for Odin. There's this mask he found in the that's connected to it. It's all sort of complicated. Yeah, but I met people my age there, made friends. I think we're still friends. You cannot trust those loyal to Odin. It's not always bad to trust people. 
It compromises your judgment. Maybe. But I'm tired of feeling alone. Atreus. I... Let's just figure out how this gate works. Okay? when the gate is open. Gotta stop him. This is all my fault. a notch in the pillar here that your spear could probably fit. But we need a better angle.
Atreus, I do not want you to feel alone, but your decision to go to Asgard helped me understand. Odin doesn't want Ragnarok. I, I know I can't trust him, but I needed his help. I can't let Ragnarok happen either. I would have helped you. No. Wait, he's right here. Okay, okay. It, it, it's okay, boy. It's all right. Just calm. Just calm. We, we just want to... Squeeze through here. If he truly wishes to avoid the Ragnarok, then we are in agreement. Yeah? Then what's that spear for? Do you have other weapons for that? What are these guys doing here? They are dead! I hate fighting these guys when they're alive. for Ragnarok. And seriously, why the spear? Sure. It's your turn. We are not the same. I am the parent. You're ducking the question.
Oscar. Close. Promise me you won't kill him, okay? I make no promises, but I will try not to kill the beast. Notch in the wall. What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varn. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. Yeah. <laughs> 
track on. You freeze his tank with your axe so we can't run it. Latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, we do it my way. Yes, sir. Whoa! Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now who does not trust? Sorry, that wasn't fair. I just, I thought it would work. Patience, we will find a way. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. But how? There is always a way. <laughs> Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Okay. 
Over. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Just go home now. Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. <sighs> Another locked door. Freezer. 
You okay? Big thought. Can you freeze it again? I am thinking. Okay. Well, can you lift the gate so I can help again? Or I'll just wait here. Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that. better on chaos what else did you learn we work better when we trust each other Oh! 
We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then, but I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah, let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Sorry, I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. 
We did it. Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. We let someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me. That's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. And, uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. Mr. Gateway got buried. I have it.
What's wrong? Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, all right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. Prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First. We retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey. She didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, 
Your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. my notes on the mask see if I can think of a plan but if you want to go anywhere I'm with you and listen everyone I'm really sorry about the way I left you know I've never hurt any of you on purpose well when you can turn into a bear by accident I suppose these things can happen so do you forgive me of course Atreus we know you meant no harm lad I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tyr. I believe you just might. Let me upgrade our axe for you. Can't stand to see it looking like that. What you need now? check on Freya. Is that any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help.
and the kid? You make up your mind. Keep your bits in all the right places. something to do. Hey, wait! We're with you. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's 
beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Everyone. Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they've got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildes Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor... and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. It would 
at least I assume. Not easy. Tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiving me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, <laughs> broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. Mm -hmm. It's so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfan, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. By a knocking, perhaps.
going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyer's camp. <laughs> Has Rock been helping him out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Hulder brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Hildas Vini said Freyr and Bigvir were captured. Who's Bigvir? He's a Light Elf, a former scholar exiled from Alfheim with his wife Bela. She may be their best warrior. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hati, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. A legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. They're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildesmini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's <laughs> Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. Let's 
Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. They all go. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. Oh! <laughs> 
just hoping that puts a dent in Odin's fortress, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! <laughs> Double ambush? Okay. <laughs> We gotta get across! Another ambush? Really? Third time's the job. They are not smart. I am the You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. Whoa! What is that? A wyvern! Nasty beast! Careful, lads! <laughs> 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 From hell on. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Yeah! <laughs> 
But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dust till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Oh! <laughs> 
Seen one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. We can get across from up here. So, we report back to Hildes Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask people. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father.
all the plants here want to kill us? No, no. We'll need to come out this one. Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowfinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Vela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Nice work with the wolves. I've never seen any clips in Vanaheim before. Yeah, that just sort of happened when we freed the moon. I've seen a lot of weird things, but a moon in a box was on a whole new level. I can stoke the fires of those chain blades for you. I knew we'd left something behind. Think you're gonna be okay? His time with the Ainher Yard wasn't Lunda can patch people as well as armor. You still owe me the story of who made these things. Put some herd on them. That'll mess some folks up. Let's make something then. Need something special? What 
The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> 
rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, Amir. What? The most annoying man alive. <clears throat>
more up ahead. On your mark. Careful, brother. You're covered in black Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, we're on Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. <laughs> Just 
Make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Coming for you, Ingvi. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm done. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Here. Now, what you got? So aggressive, so angry. Half the Vibra on me. In 
is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spin remains our best chance. Hey, Cap! These are new braces. Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him. <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Your head! 
Your shit will not be you. to us. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Oh! <laughs> 
them for long. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. Oh, yeah. 
freddo. Noi non siamo in zappa. Ma il vedena tanto di doia. L'uomo è un dono. Sega! I think that's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's crass. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says it made for. I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, huh? Wherever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Galahorn is the Herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Hold it, Treus. We will discuss in private. Mm -hmm. is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. I never thanked him. If you want to thank him, don't get captured again. Promise. I promise, love.
ready when you are. Feels like there was something else. What does that mean? How could smell something? Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Now. We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey, girl, we're here. Guess we should follow her. More paw prints. Little slobber balls, quite the tracker. Oh, guess what? While Odin More of Helka's me. tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie. The nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. And there she goes. Ah! Looks like Ron Halka's trail. Ridge, but we can't follow her at this time of night. Elka. Can't be far now. to rescue him. You can head back now, Alka. Take it from here. How 
could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared at this place? And uh, on that note, Dragon! Oh! Ah! I'm fine. You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. what I'm seeing. A lightning bolt. Except it's frozen? Like the one made in my fight with Thor. But why would there be one just like it here in Vanaheim? It wasn't a crater when they lived here, lad. Something happened to it. What? Like, an explosion? It has to be you. No doubt about it. Just like the frozen lightning bolt in Midgard. Yet I have never been here. Curious.
something is wrong with this kill. Dragons do not leave marks like these. We've seen those marks before in the Valander mines. Remember? Must be a soul eater around here. I can hear the animals. They're afraid. Aye. Let's keep a lookout for other kills. Soul eaters hide in plain sight. doesn't like us invading its territory. Huh. That growth thing oh. is weird. Ah, oh, isn't that interesting? What is it? Haven't a clue. Hence the interest. Still, crystals are valuable. Perhaps we'll find a use for it. It's a sign we're on the right trail. We're getting close. I remember last time it looked just like a pile of rocks at first. <laughs> Stay alert. Aye. Some rocks are not like the others. Steal yourselves. in this valley can flourish again. I'm sure Anvari would be happy if we killed another one at least. Anvari, the dwarf who put his soul into a ring. That's right. He created the soul eaters. Whatever happened to the annoying bugger anyway? I lent him to Sin and he lost him. Uh-huh. Lost him. Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> 
Another one of those mysterious crystals. This valley was destroyed by my spirit. It was torn, split in two. Part of me. It lies out there with my remains. Perhaps if the scroll was full again, it would uncloud my mind. I could find peace. What do you want, spirit? I was. The scroll. There was a message I must deliver. The Aesir. And Thor. I, I must remember. The message must be delivered. It was important. My commander is waiting on my word. He's been waiting a while, then. Tell us, what is the last thing you remember? I was seeing red. With anger. And the Aesir. And there were these... red trees. Please, help me regain my memory. Then I can tell you what I know of that day. This specter may be able to tell us what happened in this valley, brother. The Leviathan froze that lightning. Do you think Mother was... you know... here? It means nothing. We do not know that Faye was here. True. But that frozen bolt tells an unfinished story. If we want to know what really happened here, we need to know what that spirit remembers. Hmm. Then we go. You're right.
Great. Now we can move the sunny moon. Let's do it. Feeling violent. That'll put some hurt on him. You make up your mind. Keep your bits in all the right places. Hitting the road or chewing the fat? <sighs> Turned your scroll, spirit. And I am whole again. Now I can deliver my message. Your commander is long dead. I... Of course. Odin sent Thor to take control of the valley. But I suppose it's too late now. Don't worry. We're handling the Aesir. Now, tell us what you know of that day. I remember walking into a meat hall, and Thor was there. Do you know why he was there? There were whispers he was looking for a Vanir military outpost. I didn't want any trouble, so I got out quick. That's the last I saw of him, but maybe there are others who saw more. I wonder if Thor was meeting someone at the meat hall. Whoa, you think Thor was meeting Mom there? Faye never drank with me, and she would not have with him. Sometimes we never really know the ones we love, brother. <laughs>
Crystal. Best hold on to it until we can figure out what to do with it. What a shame. A river once ran through here, bringing life to all manner of flora and fauna. What became of the river? Odin had something to do with it, didn't he? Aye. Damned it up. Why bother fighting the enemy if you can just get rid of their water source? A trout. And now dragons. This place has really seen better days. Something rather large broke through here. Stay alert. <sighs> Delightful. 
Big footprint. Smartest man alive. Well, you try making conversation with you sometime. He's got a point. Whatever's making these footprints, it knocked over those trees like they were twigs. Be careful. I am always careful. Ha! Oh, bloody hell. You're serious. <laughs> Bogart! We can't get through with that bastard trying to bludgeon us! Then we must get closer! Watch out! <laughs> Look, I'll be damned. That was a joke, guys. Are you certain? I thought it was funny. Let's go investigate, shall we? Bloody Odin. We could likely reach the other side of this canyon if there was still water running through it.
A lift. I wonder if this will take us to the dam. The thought of the creatures here dying of thirst. It just... It makes me mad. Harness that. But do not let it control you. Say the... Another mystery crystal. Some Vanier turned to dark magic to defend themselves from the Aesir. There were consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't there be a way inside? Everything here. Let's track it down. Did you hear that? The note is healing the others. Using the crank wheel will help. Doesn't seem like we can cross. Not yet, anyhow. Wait, wait. I have a story to tell. What is it? It is a tale of combat. Of a fair-haired woman doing battle with the most powerful of all gods. What woman? Elaborate. What? Oh, this specifics elude me. I, I had my style of me. And uh, I was excited. Yes. Uh, about to bury the hatchet with an old friend. <clears throat> but oh, something terrible happened. I'm afraid that terrible thing was your demise, my friend. I know there was more. Three parts. I could see all three. Please, help me make amends with my friend. Help me remember. I've got a good feeling about this guy. I think he knows something about Mother. Or not. Have some faith, brother. Answers could be closer than you think. Stuck. Looks like something's gummed up the works, brother. Help! 
Surely that's unjammed the wheel. I think we can go across now. That's where the Drekki feed. Let's get ready. Won't be much time for fussing once the fighting starts. Unblocked, the voracious Drekki dead. I'd say this jungle is well on its way back to its original glory. We should see if there are other dragons to hunt out in the crater. If we're gonna be, you know, healing the realm. Hmm. 
So, what next, Father? Don't you think we should rescue Birger? Look, over here, the water's flowing. You got the water flowing. Only so we might access more of the crater. Yeah, but with the water flowing, the plants and animals will come back. I think we just healed this place. It was not my intention. For goodness sake, brother, just take the win. With the water flowing and new paths open to us, I say we go for a stroll. We will search. Not stroll. Oh, come off it. You've never enjoyed nature for its own sake? Not just for the treasure you might find? I mean, treasure is nice too. You're hopeless, both of you. Looks like our good deed is already brought back to wildlife. Suppose I spoke too soon. Looks like our good deed is already brought back to wildlife. Suppose I spoke too soon. Dragon's perched on that structure. Should we find a way up? Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or just as brutally, raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. 
Imagine learning discipline by having it thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. Son, please, help reunite me with my son and Folkfanger. We're gonna help him, right? What is the last thing you saw, Spirit? Statues. Two of them. Dragons facing away from each other. Separated like my sons. This toy. It will bring me back to him. This story is like many in this valley. Separated from someone they love by death. We gotta get him back to his son. Agreed. You do? Huh? I assumed you'd say something like, reuniting the dead is pointless. Not this time. Ah, a 
hunter lives here. A careless one. How's that? We found its home. If we keep going this way, I believe we'll reach that here dragon's lair. Yes. Just making sure you know where you're going. Thank you. I have to get past those vines somehow. I'm trying to bludgeon us! Then we must get closer!
I saw a duel in the game too. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, and while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. Man, he really is a good liar. Another one of those mysterious crystals. someone I like, how would I know if they, uh, liked me too? Is there someone? I, no. I was just curious. Actually, doesn't matter. It's, doesn't matter. much further, we'll be right on top of the ocean. Better be sure we're ready. We fight! Yeah! I got that! Oh! 
thought it was ours, you opportunistic sod. It went back to its perch. Let's go after it. Now. Thank you. I can't wait to see his face again. I'll give him this gift and tell him about the brave people who helped me. Now you can help us. What did you see that day? I was at the meat hall. Thor was there. We had a strange drinking companion. Some sort of creature, the likes of which I'd never seen. It had this barrel of meat that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, reveling. Everyone had a temple too many, but Thor, he was by far the drunkest of any man there that day. Mumir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company, but I've never heard any word of his creature companion. This isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk when the valley was destroyed. There's still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved remains unclear. needs your help coaxing this stag back to the world tree. The boss needs your help, mind you. Not me. I'm doing great. Got a belly full of stag feed. Living life, but yeah. Talk to him back to the round between rounds when you got a moment. So this is where those tracks lie. A Drake fed here. The creatures here aren't that big. Drake must have been constantly eating to survive out here. Some sort of cage. So it would seem. Ah, 
another crystal. Best hold on to it until we can figure out what to do with it. City of possibility. Drake. How about this out? Do not. Oh! 
Lad, am I right in getting the sense you've actually gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat? Yeah, Thrud's great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. And she deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced, but I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. Lovely. Now you can open that gate without that ogre hurling detritus at us. Spring. Time of rebirth. Renewal. Oh, I've missed the smell of those flowers. I'm sorry, kid. Just come back already. That's the last of the missing schematics. I suspect you've got some new sword helps in your future.
Look at that. <laughs> yeah, dead brother. What was that? Did the lake just react to us destroying that crystal? It will appear. The lands of Vanaheim are certainly more alive than those in other realms. Perhaps it's glad you got rid of that crystal. Huh. Seems like the pond still wants something. What if you threw a crystal in? Another mystery crystal. It worked. Look, it gave us a gift in return. Oh, wow. That equipment will prove useful. And crystal shards. I bet we'll get a reward for any we return to the pond. That's handy. Good thing we collected all those crystals in the first place, eh? Brother, somewhere out there that... A riddle you'd enjoy, and I'm going to find it. Do not. Once spoken, instantly broken. What am I? Silence. Correct! I was not answering the riddle. Ah. Pass open. That dragon is shaking in its scaly boots, I suspect. Once we approach the dragon, we will kill or be killed. Understood? Yes, Father. Father! 
Olga's not getting up anytime soon either. I can hear the animals. They're relieved. Maybe they'll come out of hiding. I see we put something of a dent in the dragon population of this crater. I can already hear the difference. The prey animals. They're a lot less scared. do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. 
He journeyed across Adyar's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. This place has looked better. About time I had something to do. Damn! Am I good or what? Get so much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Let's make something then. That'll mess some folks up. Feeling violent. What about your boy? Need something special?
Behind you, brother! That's an interesting smell. Spit. Pardon? The saliva of a predator. And it glows. Atreus? We should follow the glowing spit. Find the Drekki. Good. Well, kind of obvious. Judging by the glowing saliva, it could seem we're on the trail. It is where the creature nests. Can't get across here. Let's find a different way around. when you asked about Viking. True? No. I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. I mean, well, Skilder likes through. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we've discussed. <laughs> I know. It's good. I'm fine.
Lemir. Odin's mask. How did he hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. Careful, brother. We go down there and we're asking for a fight. That Drekki won't take kindly to us just passing through. Ready. We fought Valkyrie. How bad could another Drekki be? Nice dragons from Midgard. And with that, we've now taken down about half the dragons in this crater as well. Huh. I can hear the birds. They're rooting for us. That's nice. Fair-haired warrior must have been Fey, brother. Yeah, monster of the thought. 
I'm not sure if they had bravery or bravado. Not many live to tell the tale of a fight with Thor. They never spoke of fighting him. Everyone has secrets. We do not know for certain this was Fey. Aye. There is only one way to find out, brother. Brothers, how did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually, but it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put... Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad! A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. Bloody brilliant! they're out here. I wonder if Freya knows why. Learn anything?
wish this one were like the dragons in Midgar. They were nice. They were also <gasps> intelligent dwarfs who had been transformed into dragons. Still. <laughs> Journal he dropped could tell us more. Lies. Written by Yirka. Well, perhaps that's who this fella has it out for. Bet we can get into that revenant camp now. Another crystal for the pond. Oh, <laughs> 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 
their camp to worry about. What's it say, brother? Hey, Mimir, you ever notice Thor talk to his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Yeah. Is he, like, charming to steal or casting a spell or something? No, just a weird bloke. Oh! 
just gotta find Birger. got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool a visit? We got him! Master Kratos, what an excellent job you've made of it! I do not need your encouragement. Oh no, I defended you. No. I think you hurt his feelings. Over here. Oh, many thanks. No, thank you. You saved us back on the boat. Right, Father? It was foolish. And appreciated. There's a mystic gateway nearby. But I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. <laughs> Talk later. A stag of winter. It looks hungry. Come on already! Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. I have no need for this. Maybe I'll see you back at the camp. And under different circumstances, one hopes. you're safe we can get out of here or explore some more if you wanna Another painful growth removed from these lands, eh? Amir, did you know Garm? 
Why was he locked up to begin with? Ah, hell's feral sentinel. But believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Gar, then just a wee pup, got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter but before spring. And a word for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. Another painful growth removed from these lands, eh? Namir, how did they capture Garmin in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate to Elheim was opened, Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. <sighs> looks overdue for a good hammer. Give her here. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. We 
got more lip flapping to do or <sighs> no? feel more at ease as they're dying. Kinda creepy. Anything interesting, brother? say that you don't need to the boss sends me out the most often and I know why I'm unbearable that's why you hate me you are not my enemy you are irrelevant a stranger so you don't 
despise me? I do not feel one way or the other. That's honestly kind of a relief. I mean, yeah, you're a stranger to me too. Why should I care what you think? Wait, what's that whisper? I don't think it's know if that was necessarily the best lesson, but uh, what do I know? Scared it off. Going back home to its spring. What's that? You're welcome. He was nice. Anyway, we should look around. See if any other wisps have gotten loose. Better that it had some relief in its final moments. Look, the wisps are locked in the spring. Something must be keeping them in there, right? That crystal could use a dip in the pond, don't you think? We're overdue for a visit to the cleansing oh, pool, aren't we? Another witch. Feeding on that eye bat. Do you need any healing? Okay. I wonder what's keeping the wisps contained. There's something around here, huh? Hey, look. A metal plate with glowy runes all lit up. Think we do this by getting all the wisps back into their springs? I heard that. They must have combined. We gotta take it down, Father. Close in! Attack! Nicely done! Keep on it! We gotta take out these brains!
taken care of but I don't understand how they escaped and formed that thing chains only hold for so long eventually those who wear them will break free one way or another you can say that again brother Huntresses claim to worship Skadi, but they kill just to kill. She would have never wanted that. No. There is purpose here, even if we do not see it.
Papa! some writing. Grab it, would you? Hmm, seems the travelers were told that by exploring the Nine Realms and beyond, they'd find a way into paradise. Told by whom? Someone calling themselves the Blind Guest. Odin. Sounds like the bastard, doesn't it? <laughs> Found something else for the cleansing pond, eh? You've got plenty of those crystals. Should we visit the cleansing pool? Hey, Mimir. Yes, lad? You talk kind of funny. Oh, how dare you, laddie? something else for the cleansing pond, eh? Huh? You've got plenty of those crystals. Should we visit the cleansing pool? Huh?
Another gift for the pond.
one more. Is this a game to her? Huntress says, brother, the Aesir called her the Untamed Fury. Why'd they call her that? Vanya refugees, families, hid in this jungle to escape the Aesir. In her yard search, but it was the Untamed Fury who found them, picking them off night after night until they were all dead. They chose the wrong jungle, and her retreat is strategic. Tremors and Vanaheim. Something is causing this. Alka. the last of the Seder, I believe. Good. Maybe they'll be at peace now. If there are more, we will be ready. Good thing you learned the runes, brother. The Trimmers. They come from beyond that gate. Let's find a way around.
the autumnal sky. Hey, how about you follow me back home? Fall, get it? Yeah? No? No. We are near the source. I know you see me. I am listening. Five hours. Do not. Two hours east. I said I would find this valley a new home after the seer destroyed mine. So, what happened? I cannot remember. I know that I wanted a new life. Do you remember seeing anything that could help us find the other half of your hourglass? There were three waterfalls. I remember wishing I could live near them. Another spirit displaced by the Aesir. Odin must have been really mad when Freya left him to do all this. Odin was never going to stop. That's why he sent Thor here. And what of Fey? Did she challenge Thor? Who knows? The truth is waiting for us, brother.
There must be a way across. Have we looked everywhere? Good find. Might justify a quick visit to the cleansing pool. You've got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool a visit? Yeah, always the lightest touch. If something destroyed this tunnel on its way through, it must be there. No matter the size, every creature has a weakness. Huh. Quiet all of a sudden. Here it comes! expect the unexpected, right? I just hope this means an end to all the shaking. Maybe by the time we're done in this valley, it won't be such a bad place to settle down. There can't be many more dragons left now. Then what are we waiting for?
That a Kavasia poem. Never heard of this one. Water. It smells so fresh. Brother, we should shove the boy in. Huh? You've developed a bit of a stench, it must be said. I have not. I haven't. Right? It is natural. Father!
The mayor, wouldn't you prefer to face forward rather than backward? We already tried. There were issues with viscera. Oh. Now, there was a brief bit where I thought I might get used to it. He did not. You can yell at me, if you want. We're leaving. And what would that accomplish? Might make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You needn't be. The fault is mine. Another crystal for the pond. Hey, a flower. If I had to guess, star blush. This battle that grave will provide. Oh, my God. 
symbol of their betrayal, their cruelty personified. The sooner we are done with it, the better. If I can make peace with my blades. I suppose you're right. If Skofnun rids the land of these bastards, I can stomach its presence a bit longer. In Asgard, I saw Odin do something to some new Einherjar. He seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. Though I wouldn't be surprised if, with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying. Looks like you can land over there on that beach. Painful growth removed from these lands, eh? This way.
Question first, brother. You wanted to make this valley your home. What stopped you? I remember this valley. It was on the brink of devastation when I found it. Was it a crater like you see now? No, but the town was in shambles. Shattered glass, broken buildings. There was no home to be made here. Did you see what caused the destruction? A battle unlike anything I've ever seen. I remember a great clash of metal in the sunlight. Thor, he wielded his hammer, but he was matched by a remarkable axe. This axe? Did it belong to a fair-haired warrior? Yes. She was fearsome. I remember her gloved hands brandishing that axe with exacting precision. Never has there been a weapon to match Mjolnir. But with that axe and that warrior, Thor was in for the fight of his life. It was Fey who fought Thor in this valley. It was more than just a fight. It sounds like Mom was beating Thor. It seems there is much I never knew about her. And now she is gone. Maybe. But her story here isn't finished. <laughs> what if you tried using some of your other gear? Prepare yourself. Incoming! Yeah! 
Slayer you are. I've half a mind to write a poem about you. Do that. The animals. I can hear them. They said I was the last of the dragons. You did it. We did it. You sure did, huh? Come here. I'm not sure how to ask this. There's stories Odin told me, like how he lost his eye, where the details are different from stories you've told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about liars, lad. They lie. They do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. You must always bear that in mind. I 
wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. important to ask of you speak the tree has become rather overgrown and and if it grows too wildly the branches risk getting too heavy and falling which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms I am no gardener what an absolute shock no I do not require any horticultural skills from you but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the four seasons they normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning. And now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it. Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? About Nithog, you should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged Allfather's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Until we meet. Here's what I found. What a rambunctious bunch. left to explore in that crater, I bet. We still have unfinished business there. Bound to be even more dangerous beasties with valuable resources. And what else? I strongly suspect there are more spirits who witnessed the clash that destroyed their home. Sounds good. <gasps> the Stag of Winter. It looks hungry. Come on already! Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. That's right. We got more food at home. Come on! I have to say, quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it if it had attacked, didn't you? Yes.
So, Father's new spear, it's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulter brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often, the drop near drips out identical copies of itself. The Hulders presumably figured that if one golden ring was a good gift, an infinite number of them would earn them a permanent place in Odin's heart. But it didn't. Not even a little. That crystal could use a dip in the pond, don't you think? We're overdue for a visit to the cleansing pool, aren't we, brother? Spring, time of rebirth, oh. renewal. Oh, I've missed the smell of those flowers. I'm sorry, kid, just come back already. Mm. Halfway there by Septimus. I do not like you. I get that a lot. Two down, halfway there. tools for specific tasks. A preference would be meaningless. Like the axe. I too like the axe. Unless my eyes deceive me, oh. that seems to be the stag of summer. 
Is it hard or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, Stan. Can we go already? Just one stag left. Thanks for saving the realms and all that. I'd have gotten to it myself, and with more style. But thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, he means to say. I'm surprised, brother. You'd think a stag would run in terror at the sight of you. Not exactly a calming presence, are you? I am always calm. Ha! <laughs> Good one. <clears throat> I need new socks. What has happened? They're wet. They will dry. You know, I just knew you were gonna say that. Then why did you ask? I'm really not sure. <laughs> they will dry. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Found something else for the cleansing pond, eh?
congratulations. You saved the nine rounds from death by overgrowth. And you sort of saved mine as too. Though it was really better this is false. That was not our aim. I'll take what I can get. A job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoskar when we've got the time. Got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so humid. Was that the effect of Fimble Winter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it, the more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. If nobody's there to see, does it even matter? Returned. One step closer to perfection. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough, but perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. What else might there be to discuss? Giving orders here, am I? Try to rest completely. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? A natural. Oh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. 
You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Enough. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can back. Do... Go back. Look, if I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon, before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it. But it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. Too soon. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Listen, I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. I lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. <sighs> Here we go.
Ben? Huh? You made it back! Uh, hey. This is your wool? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. And where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angraboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions. But he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you... Would you take care of Fen while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Won't I, boy? <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. All right. I just gotta help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in the study. I promise you. If he had nothing to do with it, then why isn't he here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. So much more at ease. What I'm saying is that hey, maybe. Hey, uh, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> You're not interrupting anything. Forsetti's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. You'd better go. Okay, panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything, something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through it pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out, got even, I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know, honest. Well, I have to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back.
So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird. Find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. It's D2. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. Rude? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I haven't yet, but I will, as soon as I come back. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to get under her skin later. Thanks, Loki. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Huh. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. <laughs> Have to oh, all go finish him, Brustbun. Through, I'm. It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so. If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but. Uh, right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the all-father... Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants, and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face. I can't. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. 
My name is... Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on! No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Yeah. <sighs> 
you start it again. Right now, just put down the... <sighs> Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. <gasps> <sighs> I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no, it's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Sarudi. You are going to Niflheim with Loki. All father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... Mom and I are here for you, even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. or something. Well, this isn't the way. This ain't a treasure hunt. This part of Niflheim is way different than the maze I saw a few winters ago. If you came through Tyr's temple, then yeah. The mist around all these workshops is straight up poison. <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what seeing you like that hit you. I'm 
Why can't we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? Stop! I'm not your pack horse. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> You know that. Don't need a lecture about that. You just find the thing. <laughs> Looks like we gotta head through that wall. You Something wanna? Something I need to do first. <clears throat> Take your time. Now we can go. Loki, you really keep trying to... I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore, but... No idea what kind of shit I've been through. Right. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? Neat trick. <laughs> trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, mm -hmm. could you... Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all. Stop! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? It seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? Far from Yvaldi's workshop, right? Far enough. Damn it! Ancient! Again with the griping. Calling out a problem with the griping. It's healthy! <laughs> Glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. I will say the sword's doing work over there. You're lucky she's helping too. <laughs> Just blast them apart. Poof. Problem solved. Don't have to think, don't have to feel. Through there, just ahead. This will be fun. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, I said it was fun. It was. <laughs>
What are you going to say when you see them again? Sif and Throod, I mean. If all father is pleased, it doesn't matter. Look, kid. I don't need you to solve my family problems for me. Just find the mask. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. <gasps> you enjoying the freedom? Out here without Fabio looking over your shoulder? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to, in a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. Guy thinks no thinking. It's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I can check. Jump up! Thor, I, um, hope everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, hoping's better than thinking. It's here. Hey, what's taking so long? Uh, 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 
Gotcha. Phew. That was close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that now. Loki, we did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? father against me my daughter i have no idea what's happening you know i finally thought of something i can teach you hey stand down since we better be right where are you sindri oh! oh! you sure know how to plan an exit atreus <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. I'm back, everybody. Hey, you made it. I'll get to here. Join us at the table if you're ready to stay. See? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Luna one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're I back. I still can't figure that one out. Are you okay? I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But... If you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. 
We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. This mask, the easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. <laughs> I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and... I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me. But if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? That's rather a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Works for me. Let's do it then. And quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Brock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey! I'm talking to you! You never shut up! Run! Call the face, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me! Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya? If he dies... No, no. It wasn't part of the plan. But if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frig. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything, you won't crack. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. I am in control here. Throw me the mask now. Save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done. 
done. And I forgive you. She got his job. He got to let go. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him. We need you here! Father, where are we going? Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. What do we hunt? Deer. Which way we headed, lad? in the direction of deer. to speak of what happened. I think I heard something. This way. He just needs space. Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. <laughs> We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, rock. Sindri's face? Son. There it is. Oh, 
bubble up. Accuracy over speed. Why? That was running. And so are we. I don't understand. When an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. No. You should find Sindri. Pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. <gasps> Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. Feels like it. <sighs> if I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. Ah! Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? Sentry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid not, but when a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like Brock, leaves its corporeal form. Well, it can't reach the Lake of Souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. There's nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. No. It was stupid of me to hope in the first place. when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. They'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you are to sail, do it toward somewhere. The lift at the end of the bridge is still work. We can get up to the temple that way.
Atreus. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri, I... I'm so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? We were all fooled. But some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills. My friendship. My home. My secrets. My treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? Not even my family. If you want sorry, this is what sorry looks like. I... What can we do? We... There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight! Come with us. better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. When we get back, we're... We really are going to war. It has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartal, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know, Atreus. We know. took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what I'm said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. I know we should go see Freya, but I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard for a little while. Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of, well, everything.
Strange. Fair Frey will still be at the house. Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tear to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tear's desire for peace and mine. <gasps> You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, dare I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means... We need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Sarta. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. Just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in all fun. And you? To that I'm. Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. said you know where to look for Serta. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in the shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Serta, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh, my. Negotiations with Rostov and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the uh, deceased. Mimir, you need it. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Serta's 
wife. Where is she? Heads up! I wonder if they saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home. Understandable. Hopefully, they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to act. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now? You would try to force these primordial beings into submission? Well, I don't know. You can't win this war without them, right? Gotta be close. I can hear the forge.
something ahead. Be ready. Phantom! Switching arrow! <laughs> Sergeant? Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? Hey, that wasn't- We deal with these fucks! Oh! Focus! He is the guardian of this realm. It is his right to defend it. Down! Ah! 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 
I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. And Odin will succeed. And all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? He says, you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Uh, Serger? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic, primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. 
Okay. Big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. Choice do we have? None. He knows that too. about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have a word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blade going to be enough to create this new you? Sinmara's heart is cold. Dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. Stop! 
I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just... worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win! Groh was right. Groh failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. Up this way, Father. We can climb back towards the gate. So, you fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. place is going to fall apart if those keep happening. Go! <laughs> 
Stop attacking anytime soon. We need to get back. You're quiet. I mean, you're always quiet, but this feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped. To never see my son go to war. Sigilaros can break through their shield! They brought anything! Yumpa! We and others paid for this war is high. You'll only get higher. It'll be worth it. Love us. How did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanium Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, Father. Is there anything you want to finish up? Knives. 
ought to make Odin's spear look like a toothpick. Want to talk for a spell? <sighs> Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? Our lives cut short, souls sinking deeper, until gathered up. I'm a great of Odin's. Very secretive. Trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met her myself. We tried, we tried to escape, escape. We, we clawed, clawed. We, we screeched, but nothing escapes. The, the Keeper's reach. Homia, how do we find this Raven Keeper? I'd love to, brother, but I've no idea where we'd look. What if the Keeper's even still alive? We will find her. can stay here as long as you like, but we'll have to deal with Asgard sooner or later. Well, this is it then. The beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can. Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time.
Sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samara involved, so instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok Beast, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully... Well, the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him. But there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, come here. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance. Though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Do you respect love? I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I could never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? story. If I fall asleep, promise you'll finish it tomorrow? Of course. Now, close your eyes. wood for his village. Every evening he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy and he grew weaker as time went. And one day he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? F is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. <laughs> uh. 
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. A funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh? have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. But not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me, whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. We will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. When you are gone, that part of me dies as well. You feel your absence. No. Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. As you have opened it to me, and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. Make some magic. A good fit. Better get that armor nice and bloody. Thinking. Of course you got... Go win. That's all that matters. Oh, do you think it wise to go off without stocking up? You may never get a chance again. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. And going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too? I 
as well be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. You gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Wait. I think we don't have time. I know. Work to do. You three, Paul, Treas, Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. This way. Careful, brother. You're covered in my blood. Push forward. Keep moving. These black towers are not looking so good.
strike the city with our allies. Sounds desperate. Good. Desperation is our advantage. Would have preferred our own destroying fire giants, but I suppose desperation is better than nothing. <laughs> Valkyrie Queen is not. This complicates things. I would think so. Then we must hurry. Giant Giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, Lynn. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Mm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. Oh, so we're pretty desperate, huh? Yeah. 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 
I know, I'm late. Where is your army? No more dwarves are dying for this. Sin, we... Save it! Odin forced them to build those war machines. And I'm here to tear them down. Before you tell we must bring them on the wall. Fine. Leave it to the dwarves to clean up out of the giants. what you wanted. I, I didn't want this. No. Close your heart to it. Close your heart. Who are they? My guardians. Odin took them in. They shouldn't be here. They're not soldiers. Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What are you doing? suffering and 
it is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, sir. Today, we will be better. But what can we do? See the size of that thing? I don't think we're gonna win. If they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Rimdor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Him. I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the wall. Go! Go, Atreus! Sentry! Be careful and stay behind me! You be careful. I'm here to fight. <laughs> Did I just say? No, you can't. Shut up and fight. Thank you. No, I just want. I don't care what you want. This changes nothing. You really had me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. Sentry, go! 
She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki. You're right. You're right. I, I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Gilder okay? Have, have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem in front of him. Then the Guardians, your friend, our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? That our family... was our Odin, we can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. He said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. And he said we owed him. Uh. You don't owe him your death. No oh, shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Go! <laughs> 
What remains is incomplete. It cannot fulfill its purpose. Great launch. That's where we gotta go. We do not need to do this! We do! 
Your daughter. My son calls her friend. If you try to hurt her... I would not. Don't you know... ...what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. We are destroyers. No more. No more. For the sake of our children. We must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think! You kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I did not want this. No! Dude, this was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything I want to Your own son? Your granddaughter? Why? It's no. gonna be fine. I say, the door. What about you? You jerk him against me. You jerk them all against me. Let's go.
is not how it ends. this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Oh. Oh. Not quite yet. <laughs> I think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell. I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore. And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. Oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now, I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. Bow to your queen! I always loved you. You know... You've never loved anyone! Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Groa tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation. Unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. Three against one, and so 
me, oh fucker! What did you call me? That one for Brock! our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apra, Desu. Sofna. Sofna. Sofna.
we do with him? I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. He stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. You've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. How did we all get here? With the towers, your friend with the really big wolf, and our Valkyrie gift for transporting the worthy. We were able to bring the survivors here to hold Mimi's Holt. Are there many survivors? More than we could have hoped for. We're tending the wounded here, but others have begun to set up camp further in the Holt. Is there any chance Freyr... I'm afraid he was lost, Atreus. Right. Um... Thanks for patching me up. Take it easy, you took quite a beating. She's still out there, you know. Not for long. Freya spoke about it earlier. Gana will meet her end. One way or another. I'd kill to see that fight.
Mom, stop it. I'm fine. Ash, it's rude. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry, I couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and through. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. made it out. Good for him. <laughs> oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she killed it. Really? Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just, I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I, I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki. You did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. Has anyone seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And Freyr's sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh, when we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true. And incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are going to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. You saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior. But even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you. For everything. I should find my father. You should. 
Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen, I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me, mentored me, and, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Huh. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildes Vini. And it's nice down here, huh? No loud noises. We're okay. You did so good today, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Maybe later, we can find some treats. Okay. My turn. Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I... I just... don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. This is for you too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are too. So, what was the end of the story? What? Before Ragnarok. You promised to finish it if I fell asleep. Hmm. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back, so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He was to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see.
Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people. To protect you. I don't know, Ben. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there. And I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but... They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but... I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survived today because of your choices. Who to trust? Who to call friend? Remember our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains.
now. There is much to do. Much to rebuild. Probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? A choice. One she couldn't have seen. Kratos, she hates me. She will be. She finds us. And another one for the big boy himself. Skull! Skull. Hold a few dozen for Cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although there won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. General, Lady Freya, Mimir. My lady. Shield maidens. Blessed Thor, have you found the traitor Gana yet, dear Freya? Not yet. Soon. One final word. We wish to offer condolences. What for? For your family. Your brother. We didn't mean to pry, sister. Mm -hmm. It was a lifetime ago. Memories in... Ruins. I'm surprised there was anything left. I just wish you had told me. I would have understood. I... What's done is done, dear Mimir. I appreciate your kind words.
Where to first? We could take care of any lingering business in the realms. Or investigate those pieces of Asgard. Either way, we are with you, brother. Lunda also mentioned there's going to be a get-together to honor Brock's memory at Rab's tavern in Svartalfine. I'd like to go.